Welcome to uh, Painting with James. We're doing a bit of a little trial run here. We've mentioned this previously, and I don't know if you guys are going to be into it or whatever. And so I'm going to try to figure this out today as we're going to try and paint in focus with the camera. Um, and kind of maybe take a few suggestions, interact with you guys, just talk. And I think there's and life advice was somewhere. So if you guys have any questions about life in general, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, answer, give you... He'll answer them as he paints. I'm Justin. Yeah. I'm yeah, here. Yeah, Justin's over I'm here always here. Right uh, we have two monitors set up, so I'm going to look at, like... Uh, inappropriate pictures on the other one can we call this segment painting board james painting board james does this answer your question <laughs> okay hey yeah. can you type there board we go. james i like it it's there good go. what a pun so yeah all right james i'll get you in uh that's Let's the, that's do that. okay so what we see here is i've been working recently on a squad of terminators um and the paint scheme I use for my custom Space Marines is kind of the uh, bone and black scheme. And then I like to highlight them with metallics and whatnot. So they got some golds and stuff. Uh, Here, one second. Why well, are you going to try Let and focus that better? Come no, on. can't go that close. Can't go that close? No, I'll go, go back to the table. Uh, there we go. There we go. That's pretty good. That's not in focus at all. Okay, well, at any rate, you can still see the colors, so... What um, if I do that? And I kind of, I kind of, what, what are you doing? That's I'm doing the wrong one. That's, that's why it's not fucking working. Oh, We're pros at this. Yeah. There we go. So yeah, this is the kind of the sort of stuff, uh, the scheme I kind of do. And uh, to make every model unique, I never like give them the same scheme. So I kind of consider my army a little ragtag. So like one guy will have a, you know, bone colored arm or just a shoulder pad and stuff like that. And uh, so every model, while following the same scheme, just looks a little bit different. Um, so that's kind of what I'm working on here. And I got one here with a base coat. I'm also experimenting with looks and stuff. Like this guy, I got uh, brushed a uh, gunmetal before I did the browns and whatnot, just to see how that would turn out in the end. Uh, so we'll kind of experiment with that. And then I got a Terminator here. He's gonna be the captain um, and he's just primed. So nothing there. But I wasn't sure how that would turn out on camera, so I brought this big ass death company dreadnought too that I was thinking about doing. And I'm, I'm, I don't really ever intend on doing crafting on stream, but um, so for this guy, I actually uh, I totally magnetized him. So the legs are magnetized from the base, so you don't have to glue them in spots, so you can actually turn and stuff, and his arms can move. And come off too. So like he doesn't even need to be a Death Company Dreadnought. If you just want a Skull Dreadnought, you want to slap a laser cannon on there. By all means. So that's pretty cool. So I think I'm going to start on him tonight. Cool. Yeah. Uh, well, because I'm not on camera, I'm going to put on shorts. Shorts. Because I'm just going to be here as your kind of like your yeah your tech manager. Absolutely. See you later, pants. Pants. So. Um, I know some people, they like to glue their models together and everything to, before they paint and stuff. And that's probably how professionals do it and whatnot. But I don't work on any sort of like, um, OSL or anything like that object source lighting. So I don't really need to do that. I kind of just pick a direction for the light and make all my highlights on the model go that way. So, uh, I usually paint them in pieces for easy access. Cause you know, this guy's got a ton of. I, you can't even see, but he's got a lot of machinery back there, so. I said he was Death Company Dreadnought, but I actually think the Blood Angels are a bunch of queers, so <laughs> I, uh, I definitely am not going to paint him in any red sort of way. But he is also by far the best Dreadnought you can buy from uh, just Standard Games Workshop and not Forge World. And if you think otherwise, well then, whatever, our opinions differ, and I'm not going to comment on my opinion of you. <laughs> so... <laughs> Yeah, um, I have an assortment of brushes, and I mean, okay, so here's what you're going to find out about me, is I have no technical skill whatsoever, no professionalism, I just, these are brushes I like, and they work well for me, so I use this big mother lover for, uh, just, you know, kind of whatever I see fit, um, focus, Justin, this one's a virgin brush, so that guy's going to be used for, untouched uh, by man, yeah, uh, this one's going to be used for probably just base coats and uh, minor highlights. And then I have an assortment of little uh, fine detail brushes and stuff, and they're all frayed to different degrees. So depending on what I'm trying to do here, like um, eyes or just, I don't know, laser sights, whatever. They just kind of do that. And the other ones, they just kind of 
fill the gap. This is my like utility brush. I do everything with this. I even used glue on this, so that's why he's literally feel that, Justin. That's hard. Can confirm is covered <laughs> in glue. Is yeah. So that's uh, that's my everything else brush. So for the dreadnought, I didn't even plan this guy out beyond painting the skull skull colored. So. Um, <laughs> I know. <laughs> this skull's definitely going to be skulls colored. <laughs> oh shit. And um, you know, so I don't I don't know what do you I'm going to do him in the scheme of my army where he's just bone and black. So what do you figure, Justin? Where should uh where should I start throwing well, down some bone? You should bone? start with the skull. Well, see okay, here's the other last nerdy thing I do. Okay. And I kind of uh, changed it on this terminator cuz I couldn't wait any longer cuz I was sick of him. But the last thing I always paint on my Marines are their eyes, because at that point it's like, oh shit, they're ready to go. Their armor's powering up. Oh, nice. And uh, The flavor you have as you paint. Yeah, I know. Incredible. So I'm just fucking one of the Forge World guys. Also... You, you know, Mitch, I'm in the exact same boat as you. Like, he's literally holding it, like, inches from the camera, and it can focus that close. Really? It can actually even go closer. Yeah. Like... like fucking how? Okay, wait. Here, here we go. There we go. Can he, we can, if there was better lighting. Yeah, if there's better lighting, hold we up, can get hold that. Hold on, let's try this. Let's do, we're going to use the old phone technique here. Oh, the old phone technique. So, okay. There you go. Yeah, like Holy that. Holy moly. That's really close. That's nuts. This, I can see more detail on my finger right now than I can in my eyes. <laughs> it's just what the fuck. <laughs> the skin's supposed to look like that. So yeah, this is uh we're gonna we're gonna kick it off here. Um, fuck, what do I want to use? <clears throat> Let's um. No, that brush is too rough. He he doesn't. Have I wonder if this is like one of the only streams where we play music underneath. What? Maybe this you want him because we can play something a little peaceful. I was like, oh, we have to play. Uh, it has to be our our. Popsky, the guy who uh, oh can't uh, be anything else. Well, because they they mute it and then we can't access the vod. We can't even uh, really what yeah. they mute like we can't do like a Schubert or anything. Well, like that. Oh, oh, some maybe. classical, classical. You know. That's gotta be open. One thing we could now. try doing is I could do a recording at the same time. What, what? Oh, now our CPU is a lot higher than it used to be. What do you mean? It's using uh that much, oh. forty percent ish. That's not bad. It's not bad, but when we were streaming on Saturday, it was like. 15 percent yeah how many cores this thing has i don't know let's just build them this mitchell made it. mitch what'd you build it with start your painting i am i always like to start by wetting my brush i'll actually try to get this a little more in here so i always like to wet my brush so that's that's uh just because warhammer paints themselves are a little thick i've been moving over to these vallejo paints they have a line for fantasy and then what the hell <laughs> Let me caution 66. Why don't you do the spiel? I don't know the spiel. Just just say thanks and they're, that they're awesome and Let welcome me, them to okay, the table. What was his name? Lemon. Lemon. Let me caution 66. <laughs> Let me caution 66. Thank you for uh, following us on our most unconventional stream yet and uh, welcome to the table. There you go. Someday we might actually play with these pieces. So, Mitch says four core, but it's an I7, so with hyper threading, it's eight threads. Yeah. You could have just told you that that could have been a description of a sweater. And I would have agreed. <laughs> An eight thread sweater, original gangster. Um, so, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. let's base coat him with. Are we gonna go with a uh, Rojo Negro or Rocks High? Is that actually the name of it? Rojo Negro. Okay, cool. Well, just just making sure. It's just black red. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're reading them for, like the. But I like it. Just you know. Just yeah. like this one is fluo green, or verd fluo. As opposed to, and then here we go. We got blanco hueso. It's not gonna pop up, but Mitch followed, so you should. Mitch followed. Yeah. Welcome to the table, Mitchell. Okay. Um, let's uh, let's start with a little bit of the rojo negro because he's probably gonna show up a little better on camera. So the other thing with these Vallejo paints, like I said, being a little bit thinner, you usually got to give them a good shake too, because they're a different acrylic formula, but oh my god, did they spread nice. I always like to shake them till I can kind of hear how thick they are. I know that's weird, but... <laughs> I agree, the names are the best part. <laughs> 
I remember there was like when I was painting Warhammer back when I was like in grade five. Yeah. And there was like pus yellow, and yeah. I was like, "This is all my skeletons, please." They uh they changed the whole lineup now, so like they actually have different names, and they suck. But you know, like this one, I like this one. Macarius Ma Solar Orange. <laughs> Fucking so. Asus. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Asus. That's what you guys should have built your computer with. Blurt. There we go. So that's a bit of How do you know how much to put in? Oh. I just squeeze it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a base coat, so yeah. I'm pretty liberal. Well, this is like right? the first time you ever, like, um, broke down my technique. Yeah, outside of just your own room and your underwear. Yeah, right? usually I do this in my uh, own room and my underwear, and I watch documentaries on wildlife, so. Seems like a good thing. Sorry for taking that away from you. No, it's okay. We can, that's perfectly all right. So we're, I'm actually gonna get this the fuck out of here because I gotta put my arm down here. So, um, for the base coat, I think we want a whole, do I want a whole side? I don't, no, 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 I got an idea here. Okay, we're gonna work it like this. So as opposed to painting the whole face of um, the, I don't know, the fucking right side of his torso here, uh, I'm just gonna paint a little square inside it so it actually has a little black um surround there and then that leaves me a few options maybe if i want to paint like a sweet ass deck one here i can and uh yeah so we're just gonna so my typical process is my base coat uh for highlighting some people prefer to go light to dark but because i paint on black i go dark to light like is you know a same person would um so my typical process since they're all bone and then you highlight with white I start with a brown, a dark brown, and then I uh, do about three layers of that, um, gradually increasing in brightness till I'm comfortable doing a bone layer uh, where it kind of blends pretty decently there. So I'm still on camera here pretty decent, right? Yeah. Okay. Let me know if I wander out. Of course. We haven't moved the piece, so all is good in the hood, my friend. All is good in the hood. And I'll do the same below. So, the shitty thing about acrylics is they dry really, really fast. Um, well, at least, you know, model acrylics, I find. Painting on canvas is just like, you know, an absolutely whole other world for me, and I hate it. One time, I thought I was doing a really good job painting, and then uh, I realized I didn't stretch my canvas out ahead of time. And so, just absolutely, I think that was actually the last time I ever painted on canvas, so... Because I do it so infrequently, I forgot sometimes you gotta like wipe your whole canvas and stretch it out and whatnot, so. Pretty boring. Any any life questions? Because I don't know how much I can ramble about me painting. No, this is perfect. This is so. exactly what you need. <laughs> what, just rambling about me painting? Yeah, man. You should have seen me recording my Hearthstone videos today. Yeah? Were you just like, I'm sad? No. Oh. No. Close. Yeah. Pretty close. Pretty close? Pretty clothes. Pretty clothes. Something I don't wear. Actually, for Keely's wedding uh, that I went to with Patch Can Saturday, you come a bit more in? Just in? Be, yeah. Uh, out a bit. Yeah, right there. Um, for uh, I need to get some marking tape on this. I can towel. get you some actually. Ah, uh, Jesus! Your marking tape right there. Perfect. You keep painting. Oh, I'll um. Yeah. Yeah, Keely's wedding, actually, uh, I, I, I've, uh, um, I had to go buy a suit, like, two hours before we went to her wedding. So I went to Winners and found a suit for 50 bucks. Bueno. I'll just, I'll set them there. And then you can, you can do your thing. Hey, late to the table, how's it going? What's up, everyone? How funny. You're always late to the table. Ha ha. Hoo hoo. Hee hee. There you go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Now that I have my boundaries set up, because Justin's a crazed overlord. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we'll continue. In a complete, absolute lack of planning. Yeah, so. fuck Jesus painting. Should we be worried? Well, I, was, I got a text from him today, and he was like, what are you doing tonight? And anytime that happens... My, my sphincter tightens in fear. Yep. As it should. As it should. Because, you know, my next question is probably going to be something dumb. Like, you want to you wanna hang out, look at the stars, and talk about Master Chief? Man, 
Two of those things sound great. Talking about the stars and Master Chief. Yeah. <laughs> Jerk. Uh, but, 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 yeah. Mitch has a question. Yes, what's your question, Mitchell? How long does one... Well, you can't... How long does one model take to finish from beginning to end? Holy shit, that's a good question. Beginning to end, if I focus solely on that one model, um, probably, personally, I spend about eight hours per model. But I'm usually cycling through like six at a time, so I'm never really all that bored. Um, but yeah, from well, it depends how much I want to build it because the one thing I never liked was uh, just building like okay, here's the stereotypical like uh, Games Workshop or whatever the hell I'm painting. Here's the stock version of it. Just build the kit, right? If you guys want, I have like a ton of car models too. I could I could paint one of those, but I just literally have no idea. Like I think that'd be not very. I don't know. You guys probably don't like cars. Well, Maybe. we're branching out. We're branching out. Yeah. So. Yeah, we're um, going to be doing video games and stuff like that as well. Yeah. I fuck. Who who here's playing XCOM too? Yeah, that was that was something James and I were going to play tonight, but we figured because of the install time. Yeah. But that'll be a, that'll be a fun series with the people named after. Uh, Members Us? of the stream, yeah. yeah. And people in chat. No, I think I think we should... Um, my idea for it yeah. was we'll name the guys after us. Yeah. But chat kind of decides our fate. <laughs> like, you know, every time you level up, chat yeah. will decide oh, the chat ability the yeah. that we get. And no saves coming. If you die... You're, you're, you're done. Da, you're done. But you come back as James the second, so... You're gonna kill everyone in chat. Oh yeah, without without mercy and no remorse. Uh, uh, yeah, let's do the same on this side. Who gives a shit? I mean, the best part about having uh, black as your uh, base coat is that if you ever fuck up, you can just paint over it. So that's pretty stellar. Yeah, if there's any uh, games that you guys want to see us do series of off time from our normal stream schedule. Uh, let us know, because we now have a computer capable of it, and we just got our second monitor, which means we're going to be able to stream uh, video games pretty easily. Isn't that How's it going, Sea Otter? And late to the table's right, you're banned from chat if you die. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Kill Mitch. <laughs> just kidding, Mitch. We um, need you. Do we really, though? Yeah. We do. Why? He made this computer. So? And I love him for it. Well, yeah. Thanks, uh, man. James, well, what advice do you have for priming minis that come pre-painted with crappy paint jobs? Um, with crappy paint jobs. Uh, okay. For example, new, like the the, the, the new HeroScape Magic the Gathering one. I'll show you one of the minis. It won't last past the first ten minutes. What do we got here? Oh wow, those look terrible. Um, I don't know about factory paint jobs, but if you ever buy a second hand one, like say from me, and you're just like, well, I can do better, um, then uh, there's this, um, what's it called? Super Purple or Purple Deluxe, something like that. Um, yeah, so those look pretty terrible, but I mean, that's kind of just what a factory paint job looks like. Um, yeah, it's called Super Purple, I think, or whatever, and it's just, like, a heavy fucking duty degreaser, and don't get it on your fucking hands, because your hands will, like, go tight like a burn victim for seven days. But it doesn't hurt plastic, and you can just, like, let shit soak in it. I know for, like, um, uh, car models, I've actually de-chromed, like, bumpers and everything using it. You just gotta soak it. So that's usually my suggestion, is you just soak it in that, and then uh, when you fish it out, just wash it with dish soap because that'll cut through all the, you know, chemicals on it and shit. Let that dry, and uh, then you can just prime it like a normal mini. Yeah. 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 So that's that's been my strategy. Uh, Duelist is one I'm definitely looking at. Um, I have it downloaded. I've been playing it a bit. We have a playing board games account, and I was probably going to be starting to stream that uh, on one of my uh, not filming days coming up right what's, away. What's Duelist? It's kind of like a mix of Hearthstone and Final Fantasy Tactics. You know, like the okay. the grid-based grid combat. Yeah. What the heck is Justin doing? 
Um, I am just uh, kind He's of being tech on the tech support. I'm, yeah. I'm changing the camera focus as needed and uh, providing um, stuff as it comes up. Yeah. Uh, and Elac is wondering, what did you say you soak it in? He missed it. Uh, it's called like Super Purple. Look it up, Justin. What's it called? Super Purple Degreaser or Ultra Purple or something. You can buy it in the automotive section at Walmart. It's meant for like degreasing engine parts. This stuff? Uh, bu 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 I think it's this shit. Zep. Zep Industrial Purple de Degreaser. There you go. That's it. Yep, that's it. That's the stuff. That's the stuff. Yeah, and it doesn't, like I say, it doesn't hurt the plastics because most other things it'll strip, uh, well, like different things, but for example, like if you have an enamel on a, on something, you need a paint thinner to do it, but most paint thinners will actually just eat through plastic like a mother. And so this Zep stuff is uh, really good for that. But like I say, if you get it on your hands and they're just going to be tight and like every time you... It literally gives you Harlequin fetus. Syndrome. That's literally what it does to your skin. Oh, Jesus. So, I actually had to, uh, when, when I did it the first time, I didn't even, like, it has the, like, whole corrosive and poison sign right fucking on it, right? But I was like, whatever. <laughs> Just stick my hand in it. Yeah, so, uh, I did that, and, um... Then, uh, you know, it didn't hit you right away, and then about a half hour later, there was just no moisture in my hands. So I had to sleep with Laura's, like, heavy duty. Oh, that's your stuff? Oh, that is my stuff. Oh, uh, don't forget to unplug yourself. Oh, God. All right, James has just ordered food, so we'll be right back. Watching um, painting, life, and eating with James. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she just rips the bag. You know what? It just I don't like. Uh, sometimes the sauce they put in here doesn't like seal, mm. and so I don't like tipping it because at that point it's just like then you got the mustard sauce everywhere and that sucks. The image is a good point. What a classic brown paper mm -hmm. bag. That is classic. Yeah, that's uh, the sort of thing you make a mask out of. Or one of those hand puppets. <laughs> Eating paint with James. Where the fuck? I said toss it! Whatever. What do you mean toss it? I said toss it in the buffalo sauce. They just put it on the side. Well, I'm gonna have to steal. Wow, they, there's... I'm what the... F that guy's like a swan. Just so you know, I have to steal one of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's because, a, like, they look... That's fair. So good. So I'll fun. take this one with the weird little fucking yeah. hook on the front. Boom. Oh my god, this is gonna be good. You want some hot sauce? I'm a baby. Thank You're you. a baby. Mm -hmm. Justin's a baby. Mm. Also, be careful what you get into. This is some life advice. I'm a very addictive personality. And, uh, I mean, if I'm not drinking, I'm usually eating fried chicken. So, two very strange addictions. James, right do you need help? Like, no. you just said, if I'm not drinking, I'm eating fried chicken. And you're eating fried chicken right I now. I know, right? So I'm sober. Jesus, get off my back. What? How did you learn to be such a snappy dresser? Saw a picture with a shirt like this once, and I said I want one. I want to look like that guy. Yeah. And so I, uh, I went, I found one, and I bought one. Yeah. You're a wordsmith. I actually, I'm pretty sure my whole fashion sense comes from the fact that when I was, like, two years old, three years old, and, like, my sister kept playing dress up with me. She'd never let me wear the pretty dress. Hmm. I, I still remember those days. She made me wear the ugly zebra print dress, and she got the fucking like nice sparkly sequin skirt dress, and I was like always jealous of her. Sisters are bitches. Fuck community college. Let's get drunk and eat chicken fingers. What happens if you put them together? 
You want me to paint, no, drink, no. and? No, like, because mm. you said you're addicted to alcohol yeah. and fried chicken. Mm -hmm. Well, you put the alcohol and fried chicken together. So this is just a good time. Nice. It's usually I don't know when to stop drinking and I don't know when to stop eating. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what it comes down to. But this is, this is top quality. They're good. I mm -hmm. mean, it's still just fried chicken, but, you know, it's good fried chicken. Yeah, but, you know, pub food is usually shitty. This place is pretty good. Yeah. Let's try their fry. No, well, tastes like a fried potato. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's their mustard sauce. You like that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to try it. You're yeah. talking to me like, you like that? Oh, that's very dilly. That's very dilly. Holy shit, I don't think this is their mustard sauce. How can really? their mustard sauce be bright white? I mean, there's magic and shit and everything. Mm -hmm. So, okay, after this fry, I'm going to get back to painting a little bit. Cool, let's get you into paint mode then. Mm. Okay. So one thing you should always do when you're going to leave for any period of time is uh, don't leave the paint on the tip of your brush. <laughs> like you did? Yeah, like I did, so. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Fuck, I don't want to... Let's do some fucking metal. I thought you were just gonna be like, I don't wanna paint anymore. <laughs> no, I don't wanna do the base coat. It's been Negro Black. Is it called Negro Black? No, it's just black. But <laughs> I have a metallic black. Oh, it is, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Negro Black. Yeah, the That's French it. is what it is. Isn't it? Or Italian? Vallejo, what is it? Is that Italian? No. Okay. Spanish? I don't speak Italian, so I don't know why you're asking me. Are you going to make me say it? Here we go, we got to shake it till it's thick again. And you know just by here. Yep, 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 yep. Ba, ba, ba. Hey, Cobra Misfit! What the be be boo ba ba French. Stream? French, I believe. Vallejo, <laughs> I don't Fun know. Fun little fact. There might be streams going on every night this week from today until Sunday. So that's pretty sweet. What are we doing so much of uh, experimenting? Yeah. Patrick wants to try some magic stuff on Wednesday, he's hoping. Then our normal streams on Tuesday and Thursday and yep. Saturday. And Friday, I want to do heroin on camera. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then uh, Sunday, it's Valentine's Day stream. Huh, <laughs> that work. Mm. I'm single, so. I have, to, I have to pull three 12 hour days in a row next week. Shitty. But I mean, it's for a private sale, so hopefully I sell like six cars, mm -hmm. but... Mm. So good. So good. So here's another pro tip if you want to paint like a professional. You know your brush is clean when you lightly rub it like this and then it doesn't leave color like that, but I don't give a shit, so... I just get it till it barely leaves color and then... Literally making people watch paint dry. <laughs> Fuck you, Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, god damn it. Um, yeah, so now we're just gonna do some metal stuff. I don't know if it's gonna be metal. I'm mean, actually used a smaller brush for this, but... Um, these bits are gonna be metal, because I decree it, so... Oh my god, I'm gonna need a smaller brush. So I'm gonna use whatever paint's on here than a board. Okay. Oh, my hands are just right in the fucking way. Beep. How about that? That's good. That's okay. good. I'm, I'm trying to make you yeah. learn it yourself. Yeah. Here's another bitch thing to do is uh, when you gotta paint the little fucking steel nubs on everything because or rivets. That's what they're called, rivets. Yeah. Because rivets are always a bitch to paint. God damn. That chicken is so good. There's still more. I know. I know. Nice burp. Thank you. I'm really glad you guys can't like smell my breath over stream. Well, they can. Mm, well, sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're still good, yeah. So would you guys want some music underneath this? This is for you guys, chat. Uh, Miss just mm. fucked off to play Rocket League, I guess. Okay. Well, <laughs> yeah. See ya, Mitch. 
Rocket League's not even that good. I haven't even played it. I hear it's amazing. But what you all should be playing is XCOM 2. You know what fucking, I like lost my shit when I like loaded it up and I found out that like uh, Central Officer Bradford was uh, still your guy? But they've like kind of, now he's like too gruff and too like, ooh, I'm too macho. I liked it before when he's not even wore a sweater vest. So. Have you played any of XCOM 2? Have you read about it, Justin? No. You have this awesome new mechanic where in most missions, since, since you're like a gorilla, mm -hmm. um, the aliens aren't always actively looking for you. And so most missions you start in what they call concealed. And so as you move, you can see the enemy squares, tiles where they can see. Mm -hmm. And you can actually move around them and set up ambushes with like Overwatch and stuff. Where uh, people won't be in cover. Like the, you know, like three guys will just be on patrol and you just position your guys accordingly and then have one guy just take a shot. And then as they scramble for cover, all the guys in Overwatch just unload so you can eliminate entire squads that way. Jeez. It's so simple, but such a good addition. Uh, Elac is wondering, so what are the different kinds of washes? I think I kind of know what a wash is and how it brings out details. Yeah. But not anything more. Um, I personally... Don't like Games Workshop's new series of washes, but really what it comes down to is like, say, uh, you want something to be a little gritty, a little grimy sort of thing, you might go with either a black or a brown wash. Um, if uh, I know it's really popular with like people who do like uh, Nurgle models, they'll do a dark green wash on their thing, so in the recesses that wash basically sits there and uh just really darkens like all the recesses in the model so it gives you a bit of natural highlighting and uh so it's just kind of do it accordingly with uh whatever color you're working with or whatever you want the effect to be so uh when you paint faces me personally i'll do a base coat on the face then i'll do a brown wash and then i'll do the highlights on top of that wash so the highlights you see underneath, like the recesses like down and along your face and whatnot, typically are very dark and around the eyes and whatnot. But of course it all depends on the model. Oh yeah, I was going to switch brushes. That's good to hear, ladies of the table. Lanterns is uh, one of my favorites from last year. What's going on with Lanterns? Uh, he bought the game Lanterns because of our stream. Mm, yeah, nice. Mmm, chicken. Oh, shit. Mm. Oh god damn. Mm. I could give you one suggestion, it's buy some fucking chicken when you paint. Oh crap. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm on, right? Okay, I'm on. So now I'm in between the legs. I don't know if you guys are familiar with dreadnoughts, but they got some little connecting rods basically in between the legs here. So I'm just filling those in with a base coat of steel. And then you can kind of see. And they're right there, yeah. So. That'll stand out a little better on a, a finished product there. And see, that's the other thing. Some people go like master class painting and everything, and that's like fantastic and all. But for me, I've, I've done what I consider a master class level. And, uh, you know, just the models look good, but they don't look exponentially better than like a good effort for a tabletop model. For something you're not like hanging on your wall and whatnot, mm -hmm. I just... That's why I've kind of developed my process of just where it's like three three layers as opposed to 20 fucking layers and washes and like that very, very gradual one. Yeah. So. Maybe I shouldn't say master class because master class painters probably know color theory and don't, you know, eat greasy fried chicken. Color theory is easy. 
Yeah, it is. What are colors? They're, they're pretty things that make everyone happy. Colors are just a wavelength of light that fucking little cones and rods in our eyes can perceive. Very primitive, actually, when you think about it, because we can't even see ultraviolet. Now, this is a... James, would you be willing sometime to type a, up a list of minimal basic kit of tools slash brushes one should have to start painting? Yeah. Um, it's probably going to be, like, a knife. Um, a brush. <laughs> no. Yeah, I absolutely would. I'll send that to him so he doesn't forget. Yeah, because I absolutely will. My, uh, my memory is worse than anything. Mine too. That's so, why I have this little notepad here. It's worse than Watergate. And you know, Watergate was pretty... I'm taking another chicken. Yeah, okay. And I'll try some of this. Who's that? Sauce. I hear a car outside. Probably just someone on our street. Doesn't sound like Patrick. Sounds too burly. Mm-hmm. Well, that's hot. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm a baby. That's like mild sauce. No, mm, it's hot. Oh, that's mild. Man, they did. I, I put extra crispy fries and they fucking nailed it. Good man. Because I don't like uh, when uh, you get fries delivered and they don't puncture the uh, thing. You know, you get sweaty, soggy fries. And mm -hmm. that, nobody likes that. Nobody. So. Mm, 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 mm. 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 <laughs> you pace yourself, James. Jamer, you suck, you nerd, get a life loser. So you feel that way, Mitchell? I'm the one hanging out with my friends, teaching, using actual skills. You're just on the internet spreading hate, Mitchell. He's actually playing Rocket League, so he's a car? Yeah. That can fly? Nope. In a game of soccer? No, James, just off camera. Whoop! What next? That sounds uh, that sounds great, Sea Otter. We're excited to get into that. What what's that? Uh, sea Otter sending a package. It's gonna have a bunch of stuff in it. One of which is atmosphere, air. No. <laughs> atmosphere, but the fear is F E A R. Yeah, yeah. I think I know which one you're talking about. There. And E Lacky knows exactly what you mean about soggy fries. Yeah. The worst. Worse than Watergate, one might say. Get off this Watergate train. I can't. Well, seriously, that engine idle is starting to annoy me. Sounds like a truck. Is it a truck? What's the difference between... Uh, what differences are there between painting on metal versus plastic? Uh, not a whole ton, really. Um, in my experience, at least. It's just... Um, Plastic, generally speaking, if you clean it, you don't necessarily need to prime it. Metal, you need to prime. Otherwise, it won't take the paint. So. And don't fucking go and buy Games Workshop fucking $40 stupid primer. It's fucking, it's barely good in comparison. You can buy better ones. Um, just like off eBay or whatever, generic army paint or primer and whatnot. It's just way better. Way cheaper. It's more... Okay. Games Workshop makes a very, uh... Um... Slick primer. So, you typically... When you do a primer, you couldn't go right to what they consider a, uh... A layer color, right? So they, they do think like their different formulas layer. One second. So where's my mouse? What? There we go. So Citadel considers this Uriel yellow a layer. So that means you just put it on top of something and it won't go good. But they consider this a foundation. So with their primer you gotta lay down a foundation and on top of that you'd usually go with a base and then you'd start doing your layers. And that's all hunky dory, but I just find with uh, offshoot primers, they're a little more porous. So if you want to go right to a base coat, you can. And you just might need to do two or three coats because they're not as thick as a foundation. So, but 
I mean, everyone uses different paints and different formulas. I'm just trying to get away from Games Workshop stuff because as awesome as Space Marines are, Games Workshop is out to launch with their pricing and figure lineup, so. Makes sense. Yeah. But the problem is that almost every other miniature lineup or miniature game I've ever seen doesn't have enough machismo for me. You know? I mean, like, what is a Space Marine? It's a faceless, like, bodybuilder with a chainsword and a flamethrower and a jetpack. And... So you're just describing your love, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If I could uh, marry a Space Marine, I probably wouldn't, because he'd call me a heretic. Because, you know, I don't believe purely in the God Emperor, so. Hey, Bloxy 2 k how's it going? Who's a, who's a, what's it? Uh, Fluxy 2K. Do I'm, we know him? I'm not sure. It's a okay. name I don't recognize. Do if we you've know been here you? before, uh, just your hand, James, your... My, what? You have to find a way Just to. cut off your fucking hand. Yeah, and so with my base coats too, like with stuff like metal and whatnot, when I'm doing these pseudo fine detail areas, I don't know if you can actually even see any of that, Justin, because it's so black. So yeah, when I'm doing like these little rods and stuff right in here, I don't give a shit if I get metal anywhere else. I'll just go over it in black again when I'm doing the fine detail. And, uh... Um, are you painting that Games Workshop stuff? That's what Fluxy asked. Yes, I am painting a Death Company Dreadnought right now. But, as I said earlier, I think the Blood Angels are a bunch of queers, so I'm not painting it in Blood Angel colors. Have to drop that again, huh? <laughs> I really hate the Blood Angels. And you know how it started? Because I remember, like, seeing Games Workshop in West Edmonton Mall when I was so young. And, uh, um, they had in the showcase, they had, uh, some Ultramarines, which were blue. And then beside them, they had some Blood Angels, which were red. And I was like, red sucks. Blood Angels suck. You do hate red. Yeah, it's just... You know, it makes sense, actually, for that's why you don't like them. Yeah. Yeah, you know what, actually, like, it's go... My hate of red goes so far to the point where... I think, I try not to do it, but I think subconsciously when I'm red team on any video game, I don't play as hard. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. I just feel like, yeah, I, I, I open up and it's like, you're on red team. I'm just like, oh. Uh, by the way, hey, Trasharama, how's it going? Thanks for coming out. Trasharama? Yep. Right on. Uh, and I also, I'm with you on that light to the table. I think um, just the general, like, sexist imagery that comes in a lot of minis and games and art in this hobby i think is going to go kind of to the wayside in due time mitch agrees with the red team thing yeah because blue is best and fluxy two cases they uh used to be obsessed with that stuff you, you usually you usually are just the painter right you don't play as much uh know? i played warhammer in the uh dark crusade tournament and uh i got my ass kicked by a coke bottle that was a proxy carnifex and uh i was uh very mad so i haven't really played since then i'm into that <laughs> this doesn't, it doesn't make a lick of sense this no, one right here does it let's put the weak point up front yeah <laughs> put the fleshy bit yeah the that's here that uh you know, how I think of Warhammer and most miniature games like this, I just think of them all as, like, heavy metal covers. Because that's what they all seem like. This, this is just ridiculous, though. I love that. That's great. That's terrible. Yeah. It's just so fucking oh, dumb. Look at these ones. Those are nipples. Yeah. Can't show that on Twitch. Proto Games. <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> That is absolutely disgusting. Yeah, those look weird. Those are... I just can't, like, for me, personally, like, I don't want to knock on people's hobbies or anything like that, but I have a fine line. And if I show up to a gaming store, and I'm like, here's my nipple miniatures. Yeah. I'm just like... It makes me... It's uncomfortable. You're just like, okay, friend. Uh, Flux used to own the Tau stuff. I was, I used to play Tyranids. Yeah. And by, there was a, a great story where James, uh, he painted a 
a zoanthrope. Zanthrope. Zanthrope. Yeah. And what it is, it's like a little, uh, like a little squiggly thing with a big heavy head. And mm -hmm. he gives it to me after painting it, and it looks great. And he gives it to me. We exchange it in hands, and then I accidentally just drop it. And we both just watch it fall to the ground and shatter. And I'm just like, oh, <laughs> whoops. Yeah. Pretty funny. Well, that's okay because I have another. I have a Tyranid army for you. So that's actually where I got this dreadnought from. Was that um, assault on? I don't know. What's it? What's that? Whatever that Warhammer one is, where you buy a bunch of queer blood angels and they fight Tyranids. God damn. What sucks about the blood angels and why they're the queerest is because they have some of the best miniatures in the lineup. So whenever you get them and you want to make good shit out of them, you have to like shave off all their iconography and that's just such a pain in the ass. You have a problem. I just really hate the Blood Angels. I know. And their Primarch, like I'm not big into the Warhammer lore, but their Primarch is just sanguinous. He's just like a blonde pretty boy with angel wings and you know, he sacrificed himself for the Emperor and everyone's like, oh, he's a fucking ant. And, and. <laughs> just bites into his chicken. After going on this rant about this asshole, this fictional asshole that he hates. Yep. You know what, I'm gonna say it. Horace didn't do anything wrong. I have no idea. He didn't. Also, apparently the Warhammer lore has like changed the fuck a lot. Uh, since I actually like played the game, so I really don't know how accurate any of this stuff is anymore. <laughs> James does have zero goddamn filter. And then he always, his punctuation is biting into some sort of food. That's why I always gotta have an emergency sandwich on hand. Yeah, it shuts them up. With slightly stale bread. Good Go crunch. Warmaster Horus. Boom. Boom. Yeah, like 20 times, James. You got, you got a 20 times agreement. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. That All right, food's done. You're, you're unfiltered. Yeah. You're ready to rock and paint this mini? He will not be done tonight. Oh, no, no, yeah, no. <laughs> but you'll get some good groundwork on him. Mm-hmm. Mm. Because now there's no more distractions for you. None. Except in ginger ale that you're going to pass. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Did you guys see that? I'm a prophet. I'm also going to move my uh, phone, because I don't want the ginger ale to spill all over it, which it inevitably will. Is James okay. a brush licker? A brush licker? No. I almost got the wrong paint there. I don't even know what a brush licker is, but I'm going to assume it's exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> and if you lick your brushes, that just means you like, like getting high. It's just like really shitty meth, I guess. Mm -hmm. Just like, oh, cheap chemicals. No high. Just uncomfortable feeling. I'm done with these legs. I imagine this is how you paint. Yep. This is why you take Never so long finish. to finish because you're like, this one is good. Yep. Mm, this brush sucks for what I'm doing right now, too. So. Boop. Uh, this one. So, here's a really weird thing I'm going to try to do here. I'm going to do, try to do a bit of dry brushing on this figure where I'm not dry brushing anything else on it, so... With dry brushing, you just gob up your fucking paintbrush very liberally, and then you stroke, stroke, stroke. Can we? We can. I'm stroking the wrong spot. So, over here. Oh, <laughs> okay, they that. can. Anyways, I'm just doing this sort of thing, and now you can see how it's barely laying down any sort of paint. So now we're just gonna take it very, On camera. very, very lightly across. All this stuff. And then one of the most basic techniques you can use to uh, um, get some good highlights on anything. So I highly recommend playing with it on larger models. Um, yeah. Yeah, Trash Rammer says it's a bad habit lots of folks have where they actually like the tip of their breast to keep sharp point on the bristles. Oh, well. Whatever. I just use glue. That's the end yeah, no, He says it's a bad habit. So. Yeah. Glue is not any better, I'm sure. Oh, my God. oh, fuck it. You know what? Let's dry brush his entire backpack here. Who knows what's going to be metal on it? Everything. Fuck it. Let's get a bigger brush to dry brush. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's good. Just like that. 
Also, don't buy your paintbrushes from Michaels because their new synthetic stuff is just like the worst. Just the, am I, uh, that's probably a little too much paint, but. Oh no, that's all right. And so the best part about dry brushing is like, you can literally coat something if you just keep going over it again and again and again. So how much paint you apply is just how many strokes you give on it. So that's uh, that's pretty cool. Oh, Dreadnought's really metal, so I'm just gonna yeah, dry brush the rest of it. What are you, just, what, you just, what? Just taking pictures of you. Just taking pictures. So this dreadnought's going a whole new direction now. You guys are kind of starting to see how he looks a little metallic, a little more less perfect. And if there's one thing you know about me, it's how I like all my shit with imperfection on it. I don't like anything that's like clean cut and like <laughs> What? Uh, James, do you have any finished work on hand? I want to know if this is actually good advice or a load of crap. Um, I got close to finished work. You want to get the zoom ready. That's exposure time. Exposure. So yeah, this is close to finished. He's not quite finished the fine detail, but I've done my first highlights on him. So, I was playing around with the uh, lightning effect for his, uh, how, how, there we go. I was playing around with the thunder effect for his uh, fist, and it doesn't look bad, like, right on a table, but my next big step that I'm going to try to learn is some uh, really good object source lighting. But, yeah, so, you can see. Did a bit of a wash on there uh, for that little fucking, what do they call them, purity tags or whatever now. So I did them, I did it brown, and then I went over it with a bone, and then did a brown wash, and then I highlighted it with white, and just put little dashes on it, like uh, scribbles and whatnot, and so... Uh, the gold, I think I made too bright for this. I mean, that's the one part I'm not happy with. And I gave him a blue bolter, but I fucking, I really don't like that either. But at the end of the day, whatever. In the back here, I tried playing with some really weird highlights. I, like, did the vents, the very inside of them, like this darkish purple. You can kind of see. And I tried to make it look like it was kind of glowing a little bit, but didn't really work out so that's why he's been taking so long and so here's another well we're back here okay I got, I got it oh okay so here's another this is kind of the first i did a dry brush all over this terminator and then i started the first base coat of brown so i'd know what parts i'm painting bone and then yeah same thing with the backpack you can see it's purple in there haven't done any of the highlighting on it so yeah yeah, Necrons are pretty sweet. I think that's the one Patrick wants to play, right? Uh, no, he wants to play Tau. Tau, right. Yeah. Um, Necrons are really fucking sweet. I think the only thing I don't own... Well, I don't own a lot now that they've put out so many more, but I have Space Marines, I have Necrons, I have Tau, Tyranids. Uh, I don't have any queer Dark Elder. They're queer. They're also queer? They... Yeah. yeah, they are pretty... Pretty. They're pretty. That's why they're queer. Back to uh, my mark here. That's why we have that down. Yeah. Play Necrons so you can just dry brush them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dry brush them, do a wash, whatever you want. But there's actually a lot of really good metal technique people do that I wish I was good enough to do. But I just... Uh, at this point in my life, since uh, I'm so busy just spending all my time at Weber Mazda not selling cars, I really don't have time to paint as much anymore. By the way, if anybody wants a car and they're in the Edmonton area, come see me at Weber Mazda. Or you have a friend, an aunt, a cousin. Anything like that. Because it's how I put food on my table, so please. I'm literally begging you guys right now, but I'm not groveling, so. Okay. So, there we go. We've now dry brushed him with a steel dry brush looks a little goofy on the brown there but i'll just go over the brown with a lighter brown and that'll alleviate that so now you can kind of see how it's gotten everything and you can go over a dry brush wherever you want um if you don't want to have that sort of metally look so that's cool and now we're just gonna do the same fucking thing for his legs let's gob this back up 
Then probably his arms too, because fuck it. Fuck it. Also, I was talking earlier about some people like to have their model assembled before they start painting. If you have it disassembled, what's going to make it look janky and stupid is if you don't use the same technique throughout the different pieces, so... So oh. do that. Yeah. Oh, oh, a little too much paint on there still, so... Very... Go a little lighter. There we go. Want to work all the edges there, make sure you get them nice and good. <laughs> I also spend most of my time painting just staring at the miniature, deciding what to do next, and so I'm sure you guys will find that a lot too. Legs looking all steely on that side. Now for the other side. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. Some dead air here. I hope we're all enjoying this. This is. Yeah, I'll put on some little music. Bit. Okay, do we have just crickets chirping we can play in the back? Like, nobody's copyrighted crickets chirping, have they? I hope not. Probably uh, MGM. Maybe. He trademarked a lion. Uh, is this going to be a regular event? Uh, we're going to try to make it as regular as we can. It probably won't have a schedule. It'll probably just kind of like be like, hey, tonight we're going to be doing painting with James. Yeah. I, uh, my schedule keeps changing at work too. So half the staff at my work quit. So it's just very volatile right now. Yeah, I agree with Elaki that the, this dry brushing is uh, metallic paints is dead sexy. Oh yeah, I love it. It's great. That's the thing. If you really want some simplistic models, you can just dry brush the shit out of them like this and then go over it again. Or say start with um, like a brown, then go over it with a, uh, a silver, and then you uh, do a like a light silver. Cause this is, what do they call it? Natural gunmetal or something? I don't know what the fuck they call it. Anyways, so it's basically Games Workshop's gunmetal. You just need some color, no detail. So it's basically that color, but you can also get um, Games Workshop. James. Oh, yes. There we go. Paint them in that color. You want? I'll put a little pink on here for you. Yay! But not on the legs. And then I'm just gonna paint his skull flesh color just to mess him up. But yeah, and then anyways, you go over with a lighter color, maybe sometimes a little bit of gold, just to make it pop a little. And then you just kind of go over these really thick pieces with metal, and it just it very simplistic look, but at the same time very. It just kind of looks like it just rolled off the production line, sort of thing. Pretty mean so far. Look, well, you can turn too. Also, it's kind of cool because if like he does become a casualty on the board vehicles, people usually just put like cotton that looks like smoke on their models. So for this guy, you can just pop his top off. Mm -hmm.